Hey everyone, what's going on? Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, I want to show you how we can write Python variables to Google Sheets. What we'll do is create a simple scraper that will run every 10 minutes and then write the status code of a website to Google Sheets. Let's get started. Getting started, anytime we want to execute a script in Wayscript on a time interval, we can use the time trigger. What this does is execute everything in our tree at certain time intervals. For us, we said we wanted this every 10 minutes. So I'll select that option from the left. Now we need to create the logic that will go under this time trigger into our tree. If we want to create a Python scraper, we'll need a Python module code box. So we'll say Python and create this module as the next step in our tree. Now we can click on edit code to the left and this lets us put in our own custom Python code. So we can write the exact code that we want here. Since we want to make a request to a website, we'll need the request library to do that. In Wayscript, importing these libraries is super straightforward to do. All we need to do is say import requests, and then we'll have access to that library and we can use it just like how it would be on our local machine. Now, let's write our code to go and scrape a website. We can say something like response will be requests.get, and then we can pass in the website that we want. In this example, let's just use Wayscript. Then we can drop down and say print response.status code. And this will give us a status code and our log over here to the right. We see that Wayscript is found, so we get back a 200. Now, if we want to write this value or this variable in Python to a Google Sheet, we need to use it as a Wayscript variable. So we'll have to convert it from a Python variable to a Wayscript one. We can do that by storing it in this variables dictionary. So we'll say variables. We'll create the key that we want, and this will be the name of the variable in Wayscript. So we'll say status code will be equal to our Python variable of response.status code. Now, when we execute this, we should have a new variable down here in the bottom left that's created, and we see that we do. So we're all done here. I'll click on done editing. We could also use the daytime library in Python and read in that variable the same way that we did with that status code. Or we could use another module called datetime. So I'll select that one and then pull in the datetime, which creates a variable down here in the bottom left. At this point, we just need to write these variables to our Google Sheet. So we can click on add step and say Google Sheets. We'll choose to write the file and then we'll select the file that we want to use. I'll go through, choose the sheet, and now we need to put in the variables that we want to write. For me, that's going to be date time and status code to match this sheet that I have here. Once we have that, we can manually execute it by hitting the play button. So we can see it execute in real time, and we should have a new entry written in our Google Sheet, which we do. If we want this to happen automatically, we can use that time trigger. We specified it to be 10 minutes. So now when we turn it on, this script will execute every 10 minutes. We try to make building tools on Wayscript straightforward and easy to do. It allows you to create a hub of tools that you can access very easily and share with your team. If you have any questions about this script or any others, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.